When transplanting my seedlings, I always come to the same issue and that's that I can't get them out. This is gonna be a game changer. Hey, and what is going on everybody? Welcome to The Foundry. My name is Raymond and today we're talking about this plug popper. It is used for seed trays. I made it myself. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. Let's go. To get started with this build, I'm gonna go over a list of all the items you're gonna need. We're gonna start with a board that's the size of your tray so it will fit on there. We're also gonna need a wooden rod, which will be the size of the holes in your tray. So make sure you measure up before you buy it. Some wood glue. Of course, a drill bit that has the same size as the rod a saw, or this big saw machine that I have, but you can just use a saw really. A measuring device, and of course, a pencil. We're gonna start out by measuring the board and making sure that it's big enough. I made it the exact size of my seat tray. You can make it a little bit bigger so you have a little bit more comfort. My board was already the correct width, so I just put a line through the middle and I checked because both seat trays will fit on there, and this way I can use this board twice. A quick test fit, and when it fits, let's cut it. Two pieces of wood. Let's put the trays on top and see if we did a good job. When it's cut to size, the next step will be taping the tray to the board. Now we grab a pencil and create the outlines of the holes. This way we will know where to drill. Take off the tape and let's have a look if it worked. We're gonna grab our drill bit and start drilling the first hole. Let's do a quick test fit and see if the depth is okay. When we're happy with the depth, we're gonna mark off our drill bit. Stick it in there Grab a piece of tape and tape it exactly at the line. This way you know the holes will be about the same depth. Let's grab some sandpaper and sand it down. Make sure you go into those little holes. Give them a little rub. Now it's time to start measuring the pack size. Grab your seat tray and stick in the rod as far as you want it to go. When you know this, keep your thumb on it and let's put a little mark. We're gonna get about one extra centimeter depending on how deep you made your holes. I'm just setting my saw blade to the correct depth, which for me is four centimeters. When I've got it set up, all we have to do is cut them all and then sand them down. The sanding down is not necessarily needed to be done with this tool. You can just get some sanding paper, but I figured this was a little bit quicker and gives a nicer finish. Now that all the packs are done, let's put them in. The tray fits on top, so that's mission accomplished. As you can see, we basically just created some packs. If you can find the right size packs in a store, just go and grab those. Saves you a lot of time. But for me, they didn't really have it, so I had to make my own. The next step is gluing all the packs in the board. When everything is secured, let's slap some paint on it. First a layer of primer, and after that, when it's dry of course, we're gonna put on the color. I went with a light gray, you can pretty much pick anything, but I decided it looked kinda cool. Make sure you don't miss any spots, because of course, you're using sand, it might be wet, you know what happens when wood gets wet, just try to avoid it. Now that all the paint is dry, let's give it a test. And that's it, all you need to know to empty out your seat trays a little bit faster with this nifty tool. It's quite cheap and it's easy to build. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, consider subscribing and don't forget to live the fondry. dream.